just to kind of talk you through some of what the OEA, the Oncology Expert Advisor, through Watson has. So it first takes you know, your patient's information, you know, their, their medical history, their age, the medicines that they're on, um, specifics about their leukemia, the, you know, the day they were treated, the different history, treatment histories they've had, the response to different therapies. And it provides all that for you on a kind of summary screen. So if you click on that patient's name, similar to, you know, kind of an electronic medical record, and you have this summary synopsis about your patient that kind of culls all that information into a really clean and concise and accurate kind of page. And then you can click on you know, the next tab, which is laboratory information. So all that leukemia-specific laboratories, you know, I don't need hundreds of numbers. I just need the things that I really care about on that next page and giving me the normal ranges and, and the specific numbers. And then the specific laboratory information, the genetics of their leukemia, the different molecular changes, the different chromosome changes of their leukemia, mm -hmm. which then in affect both their kind of their leukemia prognosis and the appropriate therapies for that. So that's there. You can look at um, a longitudinal view of your patient from the time they were diagnosed to the current day and look at trends over time with relationship to you know, the different treatment histories they've had. You can look at, you know, their, their, in leukemia, you do bone marrow biopsies to look for the extent of leukemia burden, and you see that over time based on specific um, you know, treatments. You can look at genomic information that changes over time, and so it provides this really kind of visually easy view to see your patient. And this kind of, this type of longitudinal analysis could take, you know, myself or a med student or someone working with me, you know, hours to put together and probably wouldn't do as good of a job as that. And then um, as you're trying to decide kind of the right therapy to put your patient on, you know, you can click on these on a therapy tab and it pulls in the information about your patient and then does a literature search looking through, you know, giving a scientific rationale for different treatments, you know, standard therapy as well as clinical trial options. It goes through and looks for different trial options your patient might be eligible for. Are you seeing like the, the same kind of confidence level that we saw in, in Jeopardy, like 83% confident this is the, the diagnosis? It's, it's not quite in numbers, but it's, I think it's low, medium, high confidence. Right. Okay. And, and it does rank there, you know, give, right. you know, the higher ranked therapies are on top. And, right. and OA is never going to tell you exactly what you should do but it gives you options to make sure you're thinking about all the different appropriate therapies. Right. Yeah. 